Hi there, it's Karen here from Turquoise Treasures. Welcome back to my channel for a, another session with my travel journal. Um, I'm going to do the other side of the journal of the page I did last week. So this was this was the one I did last week, um, and there wasn't time to do this as well. So I'm going to do that on its own today. Um, I've got to be a bit careful because as you, you know this this is already quite a quite bulky. So I think in order to work on it, I'm just going to fold that out and fold that down so it just gives me a flatter surface so I think I'm going to have to kind of keep it fairly simple in comparison to, to all the flips and flaps last week I've got lots of other things um, things I would like to do but I think this page has to keep, I'll have to keep it a bit simpler so um, it seems to be a bit to me it's, it's a bit in two halves already with the way I've collaged it so I think what I'm going to do is um, I wanted to use up some of this vellum that I printed on to do one of the Roxy's challenge, Roxy's weekly challenge, and I had a couple of bits of vellum left over. So I thought actually that makes quite a nice pocket, and I'm wondering if thinking if, if I put it there, and that just tones down the bottom half of the page, which kind of doesn't really go with the top half. But I do like this half because it it matches so well with the other side. So um, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is. Put this on as a pocket um, and then add a few extra bits and I want to make something to go in the pocket and I've been inspired, oh no I've got, probably lost it now, what have I done with it? Um, there was a piece in the kit that inspired me which I've now promptly, oh here it is, sorry, ah, right so um, there was this piece in the kit which is which is like um, a cover of a book really um, and it's got that kind of aged look so I'm thinking I'm going to have another go at doing um, doing a, a leather look journal because the one I made before if you remember was too big for the journal in the end so I've still got that knocking around and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it at the moment but I thought I'd have another go and make something smaller and I'm going to make it in blue so I've already done the Done the actual paper, so I've used um, all my blue um, distress inks, and, and I'm probably going to put a bit of brown in as well. I have done a little bit of brown, but this because it's the, got the brown background anyway, because the paper was brown in the first place. So I thought I might try making something small with this to go into the pocket. So that's something to do in a moment. Um, but in the meantime, I'm just going to get this pocket down, and I first of all I want to. Um, clip out thumbnail and actually this bit looks like it's right in the middle so I'm going to be a good guide um, let's just get my, my little punch that I like to use so I think that'd be a good place to boot to do my thumbnail just there I just had another thought I don't think I need a thumbnail thinking about it because um, I want to put some lace on the edge of the pocket because I don't like this here it looks just messy to me very busy I could just cover it up but I thought maybe what would look nicer would be to put a bit of lace across the top of the pocket and that just kind of pulls the whole thing together in my in my mind so um, I think that's what I'm going to do, so I'm not going to worry about a thumbnail after all. Um, let's get that out of the way. Okay, so I'm just going to st stick this on now. So it's nice to be able to use up some of the leftovers from from the challenge. And I quite like this printing on vellum. I might try and do a bit of more of that because I think it looks really, really interesting. I, you know, in fact, you can you can have it printed, but also it's got that see-through quality. So, um, and I am covering up my hole. I know I'm covering up my hole, but I'm just going to repunch it because otherwise it, um, it just doesn't. Uh, pocket won't be wide enough. So I think that will be fine. And um, yeah, I can so easily repunch that. It's 
good to know it's there so I can be aware of it because I didn't want the pocket to go half over the hole in the end I've made sure it goes right over then I can repunch it and then it will have a um, an eyelet in it so it'll make it all nice and secure anyway so let's just glue that down make sure that's nice and stuck and oh I might have to leave that on because I'm going to put on my my bit of lace I really fancy a bit of this lace across the top I'm just going to cut it off there and just glue straight across the top of the pocket a thumbnail would have been a bit pointless really, wouldn't it? Oh, it's still a bit long. Actually, I'm going to shunt it that way, I think, and trim it off the other side, as this side is nice and straight. that off a little bit okay so I hope that's stuck down there so now I need to put on uh, to make the little booklet to go inside the pocket so while that's drying I can be making my booklet. Now I've <laughs> I took a piece of card and I cut it into three different sizes trying to decide which would be the best size to use for this. So now the glue the pocket's actually in place I probably can just decide. Not a lot to choose but that one's a little bit smaller. So just check it all. So what I don't want to do is make the um, booklet so too fat again so it doesn't go in the pocket and I want to still be able to see what's going on above here so I think that might be the best size let's see it's a little bit wider and a little bit taller let's check that mm, now I think maybe that's too big it just needs to be a little booklet pop that in still sticks out enough to be able to pull it out I think that's probably the right size and then I'm going to probably put in a a tag or something as well so it won't be the only thing in the pocket okay so these can be used for something else a um, little bit of lace to go in my pot now I'll try and remember how I did this before I think I think I just covered covered it with the paper just glued it all over and covered it let's just do it coverage of try not to stick to the background <laughs> okay all right let's take the oops, I'll do it upside down and make sure it's in the right place this way around doesn't matter if it's a bit wrinkly on the other side does it I'm just gonna cut it to size let's just put my top back on for a minute okay I'm just gonna cut this down here Need to, find, need to find a piece of paper to line it as well. What about that? 
to the inside. Did I put it the wrong way? Well, it doesn't really matter which way around I've done it because it can still fold it back the back this way. I may have put it upside down, but it will fold that way anyway. So, right. Don't think I need it to be quite as big as this at the side. Just, I can't remember how we did it before, so I'm just going to glue in the corners. This should, hopefully this will work fine because it's only paper. Glue each side. So I'm quite pleased because I'm finally getting ahead with my with my videos. I like to be a week ahead. It just makes me feel a bit more relaxed. Like I've got a bit of time in hand if anything. If anything goes wrong or anything happens, I've got I've got my videos sort of in the bank. So this is so today I'm it's Thursday and I'm recording for next Thursday, which is when you'll be seeing it. So I haven't any stories to tell or any news to, to tell you because I haven't done anything this week except make videos. So um and I don't think we have any exciting plans for the weekend coming up. Not this weekend, but the weekend after you see this video, um, it is going to be quite exciting because it's the first weekend that we've been allowed to mix indoors and to have family over and we can hug them. We're allowed to hug. <laughs> it seems crazy that we're, we're just, you know, we can't hug our family, but we haven't, well... Strictly speaking, we shouldn't have been uh, we shouldn't have been hugging anybody, but there may have been the odd occasional hug. Me and Hannah have not been able to stop ourselves a couple of times. Just don't tell anybody. We've had a sneaky hug a couple of times. Right there we are. So there's the little my little booklet. Still feels a bit damp from the glue. Um, I just need to find something to line the inside, so I'm just going to go into, into my Roxy stash because she has the right sort of papers for that. So, just to be a bit of a contrast to the blue. So, last time I used a blue the lining when I did the brown one so this time I need to do something different that will contrast with the blue and I quite like this one it's very it looks quite a good one the others are a bit floral I think some of the others are either a bit blue or they're a bit too floral um, I have got this one, which might, it's more, it's blue again, 
No, I think I, put, I think I like this one as the contrast. I think that's the one I want to use. Right. Okay. So I think I'll just go. I'm going to cut it, I think. Pencil, pencil. Just to get the right width. And cut. Right. I just want to ink the edge of that, I think. Oop. Where's it gone? There it is. See if it needs any more colour before I put the Mod Podge on. I'm sure that really has made an awful lot of difference, but just takes away the, the whiteness of the edge. Okay, I'm just going to glue that down. that in a moment. Okay, let's put this right in the middle. Make sure it's straight and central. Yep, where's my little card? Gripping terribly well. Right. Now I've just got to find some papers to go inside it. So what I'll probably do, I may just do the mod podging off camera and then come back when it's when it's finished. If you can see I'm going to put a little label on the front, maybe a little bit of decoration, but it's only small so I can't I can't do too much. I just want to see if I need a little bit of just a little add a little bit more 
brown box just to show a bit of age certainly around the edges the closest I could get to my rendition of this blue one which has got all the aged look to it. It's got really nice texture actually from the um, um, from the hair conditioner. You can feel it's got that softness to it. This feels softer than the one I did before. I don't know why. This one seems to have worked better I think. It's definitely got a nice feel to it. I want to keep stroking it. <laughs> Okay, so just need some little papers to go inside. Let's get rid of these bits. Um, I've got a couple of bits just handy. I've got some coffee dyed papers here. So I just need to. to size. Do that one. Might be a bit too big but let's just see. I might just tear these actually. Don't know whether I'll keep the um the little holy bits at the side. And I'll do a couple of pieces of the plain as well. straight I guess. Let's try and get it sort of straightish. Oh quick quick slip. Try and finish my tea before it gets cold. There's one. So I'll squeeze another one out before the torn bit. Yep, I think I can. I'm just going to fold them in half and then trim them. Oh, I quite like that edge, but I haven't got it on both sides anyway, so never mind. And that one. This is going to be too much, maybe three would be enough. I don't want it to be too thick, otherwise it won't go in the pocket. I'll just trim off that awkward bit at the bottom there. This might 
happy enough. Just his little notebook. I think I'm going to do it with the trimmer, just to make it easier. Although it would look better torn, wouldn't it? Maybe I'll just do one at a time. I'll do them like that. Hope you can see. Move it up there a little bit. Just tear each one. little booklet and I will <clears throat> I need to sew it down the middle let's see I'll try one more one more sheet let's see how it feels in the let's see if I've got any room in the pocket for a little, just a couple just one more sheet I'm gonna go in oh, it's still it's quite tight I think it's enough. It's enough. It's tight enough. Good thing I checked. I'd have been tempted. Right, so let's go make sure that's right in like that. Get me paper clips. Okay, so that's paper clipped just, just at the sides actually, I think perhaps I'll put one on both sides. I think I'll just have to do this off camera. So I'm going to turn off the camera. I will sew down the middle, just because my sewing machine is not really accessible at the moment, so I might as well do that off camera. And also, then when I've done that, I will mod podge the whole thing and give that time to dry. Whoops, it's my strap from my camera is just hanging, just falling down. I don't know if you can see it. <clears throat> um, okay, so then I'll mod podge it and give it a chance to dry, um, and then I'll come back and finish finish the rest of the page. So. Um, I'll be right back. It may be tomorrow for me, but it'll be a second for you. <laughs> See you in a moment. Hello, I've come back again. Um, I have managed to fit it in today. The um, I, I got my little uh, heater out, my little um, heat gun out, and did, did manage to dry the little booklet. So it's ended up looking like this. It looks pretty similar to what it did before, but except that now it's got that nice seal on it, so that it's um, you know it's going to be quite nice and um, sealed I suppose is the word it's sewn down the middle had a bit of a disaster and had to do it twice but because the first time I went a bit off centre so um, I unpicked it and did it again so it's worked out okay the second time put a little bit of um, stamping on the inside just to make it look a little bit more like a um, little official booklet I suppose um, and then I just so we just need to decorate it and just see how it fits in here. Let's pop it in there just to see. It's quite tight, but it'll go nicely in there. So let's do a bit of decorating on this. Um, and the one th one thing I'd like to do is I've got some of this trim that I've had 
quite a while I got loads of it and I thought it had a slightly rope like look to it I was thinking you know this is going to be um, I'm going to call it the ship's log <laughs> um, just so that would be suitable I've got a little label that I've done called ship's log and I thought I'd just put a little bit down the side there because I thought that would just finish it off nicely so I'm just going to get a bit of me fabric tack and just put a little run a little bead down down the side just inside the spine I'm not going to cover the spine on this one I'm just going to put that little bit of trim just down the side here get that in the hole, there it is. I've only had a slight, um, not really nautical, not really rope or anything, but I just thought it looked quite nice down the side there. I thought it worked quite well as a little trimmage. There we are. back in there so that's that then I've got my label which I just use one of the blank labels that I'd you know, from um, Tracy Fox and I think it looks okay it just says ship's log and I've stamped on it myself now the reason I didn't do that bit on camera I will show you because I actually did it multiple times trying out this <laughs> These stamps are, I mean, they're, they're lovely little um, letter stamps. They're little peg stamps. You can see they've got like a little peg. But it's really hard to see where you're stamping. Um, and I'm really not good at it at all. So I ended up doing it twice on there. You can see it doesn't work out. I did it on there as well. It's probably almost, almost perfect, but not quite. I was just trying it out, trying to see if I could figure out how to... Do it. I did another label that didn't work out too well so this one was the best of the bunch in the end so I think that one will have to do not perfect but I think it's it's okay so I do like I like the little stamps but they're a bit of a pain to use I have to admit so the ship's log is going to go there and then I wanted a little something under here as well so I've got a few bits from the <clears throat> from the kit here um, that might work. I think it's a bit too big. I think I quite like that. Let's see if there's anything else in here. So there's all sorts of bits and pieces. So I've got. I was thinking I've got another something similar. Might be a little smaller. I've got in here, but I don't know if I could find it now. Probably not. That's the way it goes. When you have a particular piece in mind, you can never actually find it. So I dare say it'll turn up after the video, but I uh, can't see it right now. And I think it was the same as got that little circle. But it's got a bit of I think it might be a bit smaller but can't find it so I'm not going to worry about it so I think that will probably work quite well um, I don't really want a, a lady on the front there there's another little ticket thing here What I, I think what I think this circle works best in my mind. I think that looks quite nice on there. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick those on there, not mess about anymore. And do I need to just ink the edge?
Oops. All right. But that's going to stick so lumpy bumpy underneath. Hopefully it'll catch there. type thing on there. Just put my top back on. Okay. No, oh, that's not straight. Ah! He's not straight. I'm gonna have to re-stick it. I think I just about spotted it in time. <laughs> Hopefully that'll stick now, but I can always re-glue. All right, there we are. So, let's just pull this out so it's flat. So we've got the ship's, the ship's log. I was gonna put captain's log, but I thought it was too long. I just couldn't face make doing trying to get captains into the labels. <laughs> I thought ship's log would work. And captain's log is a bit reminiscent of a, a TV program that uh, we used to watch an awful lot, and some films. I'm sure you'll know what I mean. Star Trek for anybody who doesn't. Oh, there we go. So that's popped into there. And I just want to put something else in, so I have got this one, there's not many tags in the kit, but I've just got this one and I actually quite like that, I think the colours go quite nicely. So i just put a topper on it, I've sewn round it, when I did the, when I sewed down the middle of the um, ship's log, I did a bit of sewing round the edge of the tag as well, so I might just pop that in behind there like that. I think that's looking quite nice, I like that. I just wanted to put a little something on the pocket down here. So I might just take these out first. And I've got all these little bits of ephemera here and I think what I was thinking of... Yes, I've got this slightly larger ticket and the globe, which I've just um, gone over with a bit of the old vintage photo just to make it look less white. And I think they look quite nice just on that corner there. So I'm just going to pop those there. So we are nearly done with this. Just got to be careful that uh, I avoid the avoid the um, the hole there. Actually, if I can just move this across a little bit, I don't know if I can. Can I get it off? No. All right, I'm just going to have to make sure because I forgot about the hole when I was putting that on. I should have left a little bit more clearance, but I think it'll be okay. I might just pop that there. I wanted it. I really wanted it just just there. And now I've put it too close, haven't I? I wonder if it'll go back. Okay, the other side. Maybe that would be all right. I should have angled it the other way. Oh well. Maybe I'll put a little something down here. Maybe that will work. Yep, I wasn't thinking. I forgot about the little hole. I should have repunched it, then I'd have been more aware of it, wouldn't I? I think that might work like that. So I'm going to put that 
on here. This little one down here. Because otherwise this looks a bit weird angled that way if I don't have anything to balance it here. I think. Alright, let's do that. And I'm just going to repunch that hole while I think of it. done with this. It's gone quite fairly quickly, which makes a nice change on this uh, on this one, on this uh, in this album. I spent quite a lot of time on the other page, and I right, just got to get. I might do it from the other side where I can actually see the hole. I can't quite see where I'm punching otherwise. That's it. I've got it. Um, right. This way around. No. This way around. This better. Okay. <clears throat> There's my hole. Right, so the last thing I wanted to do, so I've got those bits on. I had thought about putting something up here, but I think that's just gilding the lily, really. I think it's... Um, I think there's enough busyness going on at the top. So, but the last thing I do want to do is put a bit of a ruffle on this side just to cheer it up a bit. I think this stripe is quite a nice nautical looking finish. So I want to put that down that side. And I'm just going to put some Fabri-Tac all along. I think I need to put some more in here. It comes out so much more readily when it's <coughs> more full. A bit worried I'm going to crack the bottle if I keep bending it like that. Look at that! <laughs> it's squished completely in and nothing's coming out. Come on. See if I can uh, encourage it a little. Oops. Now, now it's coming out. Finally. Must be my next job. Top up my fabri -Tac. Pretty sure I've got a new one. This is warm work, all this squeezing. Have it going down the side of the pocket, so I'm just, just doing a double row of glue. Okay, that should do it. I 
than how it looked from the other side. Quick check. Yeah, so you get in the back of it here, so I'm not quite sure whether I need to do something to cover that or just leave it as it is. Maybe I'll bring it in just a, a little bit so it's not sticking out quite so much on the side. Oops, it's folded in. Don't mind it being a little bit proud at the top. Okay, so not quite, yeah, not sticking out quite so much now. Okay, just trim this off. Right, so the final thing will be, apart from putting the top on, put these in my pocket. in nicely there. There we are. Let's close this up properly now. Right, so there we are. That's the whole thing, this page, now finished. I'm quite happy with that. I'm now thinking, do I want a bit of, little bit of bling on the <laughs> along here? Uh, what did I do with the bling? Two ticks. I think it's in my box. Yep. Just wondering whether to put some pearls or something down the side, down here. colour to go for. Not not the turquoise, that doesn't really go. So I've just got the pearly one, or I've got these brown pearls, they might be quite nice along there. It's a bit of contrast. Or these ones, which are, I don't even know what colour you'd call those, let me just, let me just have a look. How's that look on there? Hmm. I like those. And I'll go for the decreasing sizes. Oops. I will put some extra glue on. I'm just placing them to see how they look. <clears throat> well, I think I quite like those there. <laughs> yes, I'm going to put those on there. There are no rules and no limits to what you can do on this. And I don't have to worry quite so much as usual about adding bulk. So I'm going to add bulk willy-nilly. Because I can. Okay. 
Yeah. Oops. Excess of glue now. Yeah. Okay, oh, and the last thing I need to do, one more thing, I need to put my eyelets on. Onto the onto the page. So this is the front, so they've got to go in here on this side. So I need to find the right colour on the right shade because I've got the three different colours of uh, turquoise. And so I'm going to use one of, yeah, that's the colour that, that goes best, I think. Yep. Yep. Bring in Mr. Big Bite again. Sure, if that's not the darker one. Hang on. No, I think that's. Whoops! It's not the same colour. That might be the same colour. Yep, that's the colour. There we are. They're on. And that's done. So, this is today's. I'm pleased with how that's turned out. I like my little ship's log. I think that's turned out quite nice. There we are. So, as always, thank you so much for joining me. And, just, sorry, I'm going to put that. That behind there. Yes, thank you for joining me for this uh, page in my travel three ring, uh, five ring. What am I talking about? Ring bound. It's getting late in the day. It's, <laughs> it's nearly five o'clock in the afternoon. It's quite late for me to still be doing this. So um, the brain's gone. Thank you once again for joining me. Please do join me again soon. Bye for now. <laughs>